What's up guys? This is another unboxing video of our statue collection cafe, the collector's cafe or whatever you may call it. And here I am showing Big Mom. And let me just open the lights for this cabinet. So this is Big Mom. And now we are gonna put a couple more statues for this video and I'm thinking of opening Shirahoshi over here and the other one is Zoro because they're the ones that's already in the room so another quick glimpse of the future collector's cafe this is where the espresso machine is gonna be put and Let's start the video. I'm, I'm gonna try to make this a quick one. Just open, quick assemble, and finally put it in its place. Check out the art box of this Jimmy Shirahoshi. So pink, it's so pink, it's so pretty. Here's the assembly manual. And this piece is a very heavy piece. piece. Even though it's just one box, unlike Big Mom over here, which is two boxes. This one is one box, but very heavy, weighing at around 30 kilos for the statue and 40 kilos, including, I mean, I don't know what, what the gross weight uh, is. So like I said, this art box is super pink, super pretty. For those of you who likes pink, this art box is for you. So it's like a, I can imagine this art box is like a cotton candy. So yummy, it's like a candy. So this is the styro box, which contains two layers. So let's open up the first layer. So this is the uh, this is what the top box contains the parts. So the good thing about Jimmy, I just realized is uh, usually I do these videos for reboxing purposes so that I know where parts go. That's why I make this video. I do this top shot so that I have reference on where to put back the parts and because. Um, uh, but uh, the good thing about Jimmy is. In their instruction manuals, they already did that for you. So it's very, there's already an easy reference in case you want to rebox. Unlike other companies like Sideshow or I guess Prime One or even XM, they don't have this reference on how to rebox this, uh, their statues. So I usually do these videos for that purpose. But for Jimmy statues, I don't have to do that anymore. So good job, Jimmy. So one thing I noticed with the discrepancy with the assembly manual and the actual is the number six, uh, number seven, and number 22 got mixed up during packaging. So number 22 is supposed to be this pink tail. It's supposed to be here, but in actual it's here. And the coral, number seven, which, which is supposed to be here, is actually here so not a biggie but I think you need to watch out for luckily it fits the post that they're supposed to be in so I'm having trouble fitting this one coral in because these are the last two corals that needs to be slotted in this coral slots in without a problem but this one I cannot figure out how this should fit in so I, I think I, I guess I need to 
you see I think this is how it should fit in because of the fit but doesn't stick I can feel magnet I can feel that there's magnet but look how loose it is so I guess I have to research a bit on this first so this will need to be left alone for a moment so these two needs to be slotted in first before you slot in the shark onto the base Jimmy makes the most beautiful clear resins in all of the statue community. Look at this clear resin here. So we have this big guy here, but luckily he is not a heavy dude. So as you can see, I can lift him up. I can move him around so easily. So this is one face that only a mother can love. Just like part of uh, the fabric. And next is the head wherein we are offered two types of Shirahoshi head. One is smiling with eyes closed and with open eyes. And what I love about Jimei is their anime head stop is spot on. I mean, it's so beautiful really how she is in the anime and in the manga so I guess we're gonna go with this head sculpt here she has her golden fish tiara going on here I finally managed to put on the hair by not pushing the water all the way in I don't know if it's the right thing to do but I guess we'll find out someday if it will I'll put a stress on this tiara and break it. So guys, after two days, I finally figured out how to assemble Shirahoshi. Although I'm still not sure if this is the right method to do because as I told you earlier, 
uh, I just didn't put the water here deep enough I put a little um, how do you say a little space I didn't push it as deep as it should just so I could have this separation to fit her head no? so this is one of the most difficult statue that I've ever assembled lots of different parts lot of lots of breakable parts actually I broke some small parts but not a really big deal because I can just glue it back and it won't be noticed so broke her earrings here and I broke um, her pearls here but as I've said it's part of the game part of the frustration in assembling statues as fragile as this but as you can see the final product the finished the fully assembled statue is magnificent guys look at this Jimmy makes one of the most uh, beautiful water effect on a clear resin statue it's not it doesn't look as fake as other water effects as you can see here lots of very uh, very nice details the water drops on the animals the texture of their skin the texture of her scales and the very pretty face of Shirahoshi here it's one of the most it's one of the hardest statue to assemble but I, I would say this is also one of the best Jimmy statue there is out there so we here we have some sort of stand for the um, alternate head portrait of Shirahoshi this is a nice, nice touch for Jimmy because uh, there's not many statues by Jimmy that offers alternate heads Shirahoshi is just one of the rare statue by Jimmy out there with an alternate head and it's nice to for statue companies to offer stands like this so and one more one more detail that I haven't featured yet is the frame just like with Big Mom here Shirahoshi has a very luxurious looking frame with a card for the details and the certificate of precious precious metal test so so the next clip would be so all of this all of this I will transfer to its final resting place in the cabinet which is around here because this cabinet is for the emperors so Shirahoshi will be around here so that's it guys this is where I chose to put Shirahoshi on the bottom corner of my cabinet because um, that's what I feel her character is around the bottom in terms of importance although I know that there's a lot of theories out there that she's gonna be an important figure in in the upcoming arcs like there's there are theories that she's the Poseidon or whatever but as of now what for i don't know for the facts that we know of her uh that is where i would put her compared to big mom who is one of the central figures of the cabinet so how about you guys comment down below if you have this kind of cabinet setup where would you put a character like shirahoshi
in the middle, in the top, or like me in the bottom. So this is it guys. I hope you continue following uh, this page. There's a lot more statues to be unboxed, to be opened and displayed for our future cafe. So see you guys on the next unboxing.